Hello guys, welcome to the Rush Vlog. Summer is quickly coming to an end, and I got a lot of stuff I gotta get done outside. I've had quite a lazy summer, now it's crunch time. One of the projects I gotta finish, the raised garden. I gotta get it filled up since we moved it, and some other things taken care of, so next year we can plant it. That's what we're gonna do today, including some other work on some other parts of the yard that are related to this. You guys should come join us, won't you? So yes, this is the raised garden. Uh, doesn't look like much because we just moved it when well, we moved it last year. Yeah, and it sat here all summer. I didn't do anything to it. In fact, I haven't done much of anything this summer. It's been a bad summer. That aside, we're going to change that starting today. I need to fill this up with uh, the dirt that is over there where it used to be. Uh, here's the thing. I've also used that dirt over there that used to be in the garden on other projects and other places. So I don't have enough dirt. And that's okay, here's why. When I first did this, I thought I had to fill the entire thing up with dirt from bottom to top. And the truth is, I don't. I only need to fill like maybe the first or the top two feet up. The rest, it could be anything. And there are some things laying around the yard that I'm never gonna use and I didn't know what to do with at the time that I should have put on the bottom just to take up space. Well, I'm gonna change that today. I'm gonna put them on the bottom here to take up space and get them out of the rest of my yard. Let's go look at that. So here I am behind my shed, my shed, and I have all these rocks and things I'm never gonna use. Uh, these all came out of the front yard. They got put back here because I didn't know where else to put them. And I told myself one day I'll figure out what to do with these. Today's the day I figured out what to do with them. Some of them, a fair amount of them, are gonna go line the bottom of the garden. That way when I fill the dirt on top, I don't have to use as much dirt which works out perfect. I get rid of some of these and yeah, kill two birds with one stone. Also, there's a lot of super old wood here. Super old wood that uh, just won't burn anymore. I'm gonna clean this area up, take all that and throw it at the bottom of the garden too because eventually it'll decay and turn to dirt. But you know, I don't care if it takes 10, 20, 30 years because it'll be at the bottom of the garden and it doesn't matter. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start here with this stuff, get that all cleaned up and then take care of this pile, get some of this cleaned up, do a few other things back here I gotta take care of uh, in preparation for the fall, and then go move the pile of dirt. Probably won't get all done tonight. It's a lot of work I gotta get done, but we'll get a fair amount of it done tonight. So making some progress, and uh, I actually see a second benefit to uh, getting all the crap out of here. I'm actually gonna be able to use this as a path to get back here to the back side of my property to not only get this stuff out of the way, and get this into the garden, but uh, I think it's wide enough I can use this as a path for my tractor too. Get my tractor back here without having to go all the way around all this stuff. Cause that's a lot of work I gotta get done before fall when leaf season starts. Cause this is where I throw all my leaves when leaf season starts. I put everything back here and just let them kind of decay. They're out of the way, uh, they don't bother anyone. I don't gotta bag them and throw them out in the trash. So this will really benefit me. So I'm actually gonna take a little bit longer and make sure this is really good. Get all the weeds out of it, get all the vines out of it, get all the roots out of it. Make sure this is good right here. Uh, next year I'll paint the shed and everything if you're looking at that and going, oh man, your shed needs painted. Take care of that. I want this to look nice uh, before I go into this just because this is gonna serve a bigger purpose in future years. Well, that's not too bad looking. It's not perfect or anything and it doesn't have to be. It's just a little path next to the shed that I can get back to here and back out front. I could use that for a lot of things in the future. Uh, I'm going to make sure I keep it clear, keep it clean going forward. At least that's the goal, we'll see. Uh, also, I'll probably uh, extend it a little bit. Uh, and once I get this cleared out, I might make it go, I might make that go all the way around the shed. Wow, I'm really wordy today, aren't I? Yeah, uh, sorry. What type of vlog you're gonna get? A super wordy, uh, my mind's kinda everywhere. So the vlog's just gonna go wherever my mind goes, which is everywhere. Uh, good luck keeping track of this one. Okay, I'll tell you what. Well, when I moved these all back here, I was in much, much better shape than I am today. Just moving those two, man, whew. And those aren't even big ones. That's a workout. Uh, I wanna move a fair amount of these, a good chunk of them. Oh, man, I'm gonna be tired tonight. 
and tomorrow. It'll probably take a couple days to get through all this. Uh, probably just be one long video, so you may not get some uh, videos for the next few days, but then it'll be one long one. <sighs> this is gonna take a little bit. Plus, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna be like cutting down these little uh, trees that are sprouting out, weeds, essentially. Take care of all that stuff too. I'll make this look nice back here as I'm slowly getting rid of these. Okay, three trips and I got uh, five big rocks and a bunch of small ones over here. And I'll tell you what, dude, I'm exhausted already. These are heavy bricks, rocks, whatever you want to call them. They're heavy, yeah. Whew, I got a long ways to go. Uh, probably just going to fill in this space here, to be honest. And then uh, bring in all the small ones. Or maybe break these up. I wonder if I can break these up. Uh, it'd be nice if I could like rent a little backhoe. That'd be awesome. Uh, a, I can't afford it, and B, I have no way to get it here or knowledge of how to use it or anything like that. Which, I mean, I'm willing to learn how to use it, but getting it here and having the space to use it is a whole nother problem. We'll get her done, but first, I think I want to go see if Kristen's ready for dinner because I'm hungry. As far as the pile goes, I barely made a dent. Barely made a dent. I mean, you could tell where I took stuff out of. Uh, you can see spots and things, but yeah, didn't make a dent. Uh, some of these in here will be lighter, they'll be easier to move. But other ones out here, I don't think I'm going to get to move them without breaking them up. So I might just have to move what I can move, like these, and then later in life, push these back farther. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Like I said, we're going to go do dinner first real quick. And then worry about this after the fact. Or maybe even tomorrow or the next day. Okay, got some kibasi on the grill, cooking away. It's a couple days worth, that way I uh, cook one day, eat for two or three days. Uh, and other news, I found out the hard way that there are bees living in the cover. Uh, the cover's been down there for quite a while. It hasn't been on the cover because of the summer. Uh, I really only cover up in the winter. There's bees living down there. Great, I found out because one stung me and it hurt and I cried like a baby. Well, I squealed like a baby, now, now I'm fine. But yeah, I gotta deal with that problem at some point too. Uh, not today, I'm not prepared to deal with that today. Uh, I'm just gonna let it, let it be, uh, no pun intended. It might actually be wasp, to be honest. Cause don't bees die when they sting you? I think they do, I don't know. Dinner! Hey, guess what? Dinner wasn't that good because dinner never fully got cooked. Yep, ran out of propane. Uh, my evening of uh, getting stuff done is to slowly turning into a fail between getting stung and uh, running out of propane and I mean it was kibasi so it's fully cooked to begin with uh, so I ate a couple pieces uh, like warmed up not like super heated and super cooked the way I want it but yeah that happens it is what it is oh well uh, now uh, Lincoln and Kristen went to get some ice cream and they're gonna bring me back some but I'm gonna go take a shower because I'm hot and sweaty and I need a shower. And then we will see where the evening goes, if it goes anywhere. I might just come on here, jump on, say goodbye to you guys because I'm exhausted. Moving that stuff, man. Tiring. I am so out of shape. I gotta get in shape. I gotta get stuff done. Uh, yeah, some goals I gotta do. Now that I got a shower, I got some ice cream coming back to me soon. Uh, time to relax and enjoy the evening. I thought there for a little bit I was going to have to like make this video stretch over a few days because I wasn't going to have enough footage, but apparently I blubbered and blabbered on enough and just rambled on enough to fill a complete video up. Uh, sorry if it's a lot of talking and not much a lot of doing, but that's what today was, a lot of talking. A lot of explaining, a lot of uh, hopefully planning things out for the future, which I'm going to go do now on my computer. I'm going to plan some stuff out for the future. Things uh, coming up tomorrow and things coming up at the end of the month. Big vacation coming up. Can't wait for that. I'm going to go do that. Hope you enjoyed the video. There will be more home videos of me working in the backyard, working on the garden, working on all kinds of stuff. Because things got to get done. We're running out of time. Fall is on its way. And I want to do Halloween stuff. Like, right away. Like, right away. Super, super soon. Okay, I'm going to let you go. Take care. Uh, have a good one. And remember, smile. It confuses people.